Nigerian American Business Forum, NABF, a professional organization based in the United States, will be bringing billions of dollars to Nigeria in the next three years. This was made known by the president of the association, Chief Kenneth Shobola, during Nigerian American Business Forum, NABF, second annual conference with the theme, Entrepreneurship in Africa, Challenges and Opportunities, held Tampa, Florida. This year's conference featured great speakers from professional bodies, captain of industries, investors, banking industry, financial sector, government agencies, media guru, elected government official, policymakers, and global health experts. NABN, your community TV station, led by our executive producer Joy Adedeji, was at the conference. Welcome back. We're still at NABF Nigeria American Business Forum Conference in Tampa, Florida. I have the founder and the chairman of NABF. The amazing NABF organization. What's, what's your name, sir? My name is Afolabi Andu. How do you feel about this amazing conference? Well, I think it really has been quite, taking your words, amazing. And even beyond amazing, it's been quite inspiring. And we've not even started. So just imagine what's going to happen within the next few hours and tomorrow. Uh, it can only be, you know, mind-boggling. You know, the speakers are incredibly impressive. And I think what is also cardinal is the collection of uh, brilliant minds. And once we're able to recognize the minds that can bring about indelible change, we must take advantage of that. We're still at Tampa, Florida, where NABF, Nigerian American Business Forum, is holding their second annual conference. I have a very special guest who flew all the way from Nigeria to be a part of this conference. I'm going to have him introduce himself. What's your name, sir? My name is John Momo, uh, Channels Media Group, Chairman and CEO. I'm sure you've all heard about Channels. He's the big boss of Channels. We're so happy to have you here. I remember watching you on TV in Nigeria. I'm so, so happy to meet you. How do you feel about today's event? Absolutely delighted to be here. Um, and it's really very encouraging. I'm, I'm actually in one world word thrilled to be here. You haven't spoken yet. I can't wait to hear you speak because I, I, I've heard that you're a great speaker. So I'm really, really curious and waiting to hear you speak. So we're happy that you came. We uh, want to congratulate you on your media in Nigeria that is making a difference. We're so proud of channels. And ABN TV is trying to be like them, but we have a long way to go. Thank you so much yeah, for talking to us. to do some collaboration, and oh, I'm sure we'll do that. Amazing. That would be amazing. We should. We should. All Thank right. you so much. Thank you. My pleasure. What's your name? Daryl Roussan, Senator Roussan from Tampa, St. Petersburg. It's nice to have you here. So what are your views about today's um, conference? Well, it's a fantastic conference, and I'm so glad that the organizers invited me. It's important that we all realize our motherland, uh, take the values of the motherland, translate them into active engagement here in the United States. And as a people, we need to continually come together to utilize our own talents, our own resources, our own skills for the betterment not only of ourselves but of others in our community thank you so much do you think this is a good medium to bring Africans in the diaspora and African Americans to their roots is this a good way to bring everybody together? it's an excellent way to bring everyone together and I'm so glad to be a part of the second annual conference uh, Nigeria is a great country with rich history and we need to honor it uh, by coming together and never leave home Thank you so much. Do you plan on visiting Nigeria soon? Soon, I hope. <laughs> my, my daughter, Danielle, married a uh, Nigerian. They live oh. in Chicago. Oh, he's, an, he's one of us. <laughs> yes, uh, Ademola oh. Ayodele. Welcome back to NABN TV special event. We're coming to you today again from Tampa, Florida at the West Grand Shore Hotel where NABF, Nigerian American Business Forum, is holding their second annual conference. It's been amazing so far. I have a very special guest here with me today. He is the president and co-founder of NABF, this amazing organization. I want to get his view on today's event, how it's going so far. How are you, sir? Um, thank you so much. Yeah, the event has started on a very, very high note as usual, um, trying to overcome or, you know, outdo what we did last year is a challenge. But um, I believe we are on to a very, very excellent start. I believe so. 
last last year was amazing. It was a great turnout. I'm seeing today. It looks like today may be better. Who knows? So far, I've heard that there've been some great speakers. How do you feel? Fantastic. I feel great. I feel um, pumped. I feel very, very encouraged. And um, I believe, at the end of the day, you know, we we are onto a trajectory that. I believe we propel Nigeria to those lengths that we've all aspired for, for it to be. We believe the potentials there, the talents there, everything is there. We have strategically positioned for success. We just have to seize those opportunities and make, uh, take good advantage of them. Thank you so much. Congratulations you. on being a part of this amazing conference that has brought thank Nigerians you. and the diaspora and Nigerians back home too. So thank you so much for doing this and more grease to your elbow. Thank you very kindly. Thank you. NABF, Nigerian American Business Forum. Join us, join our drive, join our efforts. We're on to great and bigger things for our dear motherland, Nigeria. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. The keynote speaker at the conference and chairman of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo, said the media is a catalyst for the entrepreneur through the provision of knowledge. He advised and encouraged Nigerians in the diaspora to come home and in partnership with fellow Nigerians to rebuild our fatherland. Why am I telling you this story? Because it signifies hope to the average Nigerian. Particularly those of you who are thinking of coming back home to invest in your country. Nigeria isn't all bad news. In the midst of the chaos and confusion of Nigeria, opportunities abound. Mrs. Adobe Nwapa, who represented Jim Ovia, the chairman of Zenith Bank, told conference attendees that Zenith Bank is ready to collaborate with NABF to achieve its goals in Nigeria. This brings me to talk about investors' partnership of investment that will change the game and invest the outward medical tourism trend that Nigeria is playing with due to the inadequacy of world-class hospital facilities. There are so many doctors and pharmacists here, and I think this uh, NABF, I think uh, you're made up of a lot of pharmacists. That's what we're talking about. We need to come home. We need to come home and give you that set. We will give you Dr. David Ikudaisi of Glory Medical Clinic said Nigeria could soon become the medical tourism capital through the regenerative medicine and hormone replacement therapy specializations. It's uh, getting people to understand what I do, which is regenerative medicine. It's a kind of, you know, about 12, 13 years old area of medicine, and it's actually the future of medicine, whether I would like it or not. And um, my goal is to get out with larger groups down the road, make Nigeria the medical tourism center. Because we have brains in Nigeria. And um, even those of us that are outside, in the end, different, not only medical, in all aspect of you know, uh, life, you always find Nigeria at the top place there. Professor Ademola Abbas, special advisor to Lagos State Governor on Overseas Affairs and Investment, also said, If you ever want to invest in Lagos State, I speak for Lagos State. We have an office called Overseas Affairs and Investment. I don't need to know your name. Google my name. Send your proposal, you get a response. It doesn't matter who comes into office. Lagos State has established continuity. So whether you are someone or somebody after him, Lagos is guaranteed that there will be progression. So investors should have no fear at all. What we are trying to build in Nigeria today and in Lagos is not anything around individuals. So it doesn't matter whether it's somebody today or somebody tomorrow. When you have strong and viral democratic institutions, investors should not have to worry about who comes into office. So definitely I can assure you, Lagos is going to continue. Just bring me your money, we need it. And as we have seen so far, at least in our three and a half years we have run Lagos State, we make judicious use of your money. Thank you very much for Malam Ibrahim Magu, Acting Chairman, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, represented by Dr. Aminu Gusau, Director, Policy Planning and Statistics at EFCC, warned Nigerians abroad against helping looters to hide their loots. What is damaging to an economy is that is the fact that it is endemically corrupt 
systems, majority of the population are denied of public services, thus putting a strain on the social contract between citizens and political leaders. Professor Mojisola Adeyeyi, Director General, National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, said that 65% of medical products were being imported into Nigeria. So there are so many vicissitudes that you cannot predict that can discourage you. But you have to. You don't have another country where they know your name and you understand what I mean. <laughs> Mr. Abimbola Ogunbanjo, president of the National Council of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, said Nigeria will be the number one most preferred destination for private equity investment in the next three years. Opportunities that exist in that, in that area is that Nigeria has a total land area of 923,768 kilometers. The land is fertile, arable, and suitable for forestry and animal husbandry. With the federal government's diversification initiatives, the Nigerian Export Promotion Council has marked out 13 national strategic export products and services to replace oil. This is a potential opportunity for investors to tap in, as this will in turn increase the country's foreign exchange earnings and provide alternate sources. For full speech of each speaker, please visit www.nabizforum.com, NABF website. The well-organized, well-attended second annual NABF conference drew a large number of participants from Nigeria, Europe, South America, Middle East, Asia, the Caribbean, and across the states in the U.S. The gala night was the grand finale of the conference. Okay, welcome back. We're still at the gala night for NABF, Nigerian American Business Forum. The grand finale of today's event in the morning was the conference. Now they have the gala night. I want to ask one of the members and one of the organizers how he thinks the conference went. How do you think the conference went today? Uh, the conference went very well. Uh, we had a good turnout. Uh, there was the, the speakers spoke well, had great topics um, that uh, galvanized our group. Last year's conference was went very, very well. Do you think this year superseded that? Oh, of course. Well, we don't look at it as a contest between uh, events, but what we do hope that the, the forum at least provides a platform for us to, um, uh, well, it provides a platform for us to uh, do bigger things, you know, and, and to um, showcase uh, what our talents are as a, as a group. I have one. I have one of the youth leaders here with us tonight. We're actually excited to have a young person here because NABF is not just for older people. We need young people like you. So, what motivated you to come today? Well, we heard about the event and we thought it's important to come and see how what we can learn about the event. And the event was quite interesting because it's uh, what we've learned is that we can actually in, um, invite people and meet people and encourage them to come to Nigeria because the uh, government of the present administration has created an, em an enabling environment for businesses to thrive so meeting them here encouraging them discussions here we had very productive and fruitful discussions and by we're going to be um, participants next year and for future events. Is there something that we're missing? Because I feel like there's something we're missing between the, the older Nigerians and the young and the youth. Is there something that we're missing that we need to do better to draw the youth closer? Well, well, there's a lot that needs to be done. There's, there's a lot that needs to be done, but the good thing about the current administration is that they're encouraging youth participation in politics, mm -hmm. in businesses, and it's one of the reasons why we're also here okay. because they encourage us and they pushed us to come here, to come to Nigeria, to come to the UN, and to uh, come to this event. And hopefully, we're going to be able to encourage other organizations and our peers to come and encourage them to be present at events similar to this and this particular event as well. So we should expect to see you next year? Definitely. For our viewers who don't know you, what's your name? Uh, my name is Olu John Way Abraham Obasanjo. So your father is uh, the famous Obasanjo? Yes. Okay, okay. Greetings to your father. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. NABN TV, inspiring a new generation. Yes. Yes, you're one of the organizers, I believe. Yes, I'm one of the organizers, and I'm the legal advisor to NABF. 
How do you think they did tonight, legal oh, advisor? They did great. We did really great. I'm so proud of everybody. We did really great. Congratulations to you guys. You all worked tirelessly to make sure this was a success. We are so proud of you. I'm looking forward to next year. I can't wait. Are you excited? I am excited. I know next year is going to bring a lot more. So just look forward to it. More surprises in stock. A lot of dignitaries. It'll be better than this year, for sure. Thank you so much. You look beautiful. Thank Enjoy you. your evening. Thank you. You too. Yeah. My name is Labo De Obano. Is this your first time at this conference? Yes, it is. So what inspired you to come? Uh, well, I was invited by a friend who said, why don't you come check out NABF and see what they are doing. So I understand the organization came into existence last year. That was the first event. Yeah. And I said, you know what, let me go take a look at it and see what they are doing. What do you think? Wonderful. I was blown away. Um, we as, uh, I think, uh, the thing like this is needed, highly needed. Um, there's need for entrepreneurs in Americas to try to get business and investment back home in Nigeria. Uh, it's going to take our generation of business owners and investors to be able to turn our country around. So I'm really excited about the event. I know a lot of us, uh, our young diasporans, are afraid because of all the stories that we hear. Are you motivated to, after hearing uh, speakers today, are you motivated to go to Nigeria and make a change? Absolutely, I'm glad you asked that question. I, uh, most of the speakers who spoke, I would, Andrew, for example, who came from Canada, staying in Nigeria, if he can stay in Nigeria, I don't see why I can't stay in Nigeria. So yes, I am really excited, I'm motivated. I think uh, uh, we d there was an opportunity for soul searching after the whole uh, presentation. And more things, actually I met with um, the Lagos State uh, investor, investment uh, expert. I met with him. We are trying to get something together within the next few months. Look yes. That networking, yes. working. Yes, 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 absolutely. Do you think you're going to be here next year? Oh, without question, I will be here. I'm not only going to be here you by myself, be I should be dragging people. I'll be bringing people in here. You should be a member, register. I think so too. I should be a member. Yeah, <laughs> Look absolutely. Look at NABF. I'm trying to find you. I'm trying to convince him to register. You see that? I will be a member. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much for talking. Thank you very much. I think um, we've learned a lot from the speakers about development in Nigeria. How uh, those of us in diaspora can come and help develop Nigeria. Anything, things like education, uh, things like health, the health system, um, infrastructure, and all those things they've mentioned today. I mean, they are very important, and I'm very happy uh, the Nigerian American Business Forum are addressing the issues that Nigeria needs to improve in. Thank you so much. I'm sure you're very proud of your children who have become part of this and they have worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make sure that this was a success. How proud of, you are, uh, of them are you? I am super proud of my kids. They never let me down. All of them, they are so dedicated and they, once they tell you they're going to do this, they will always do it and I'm proud of them. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm proud of my son, Dr. Gerard Mufaro, Dr. Jama Mufaro. I'm also proud of Chinyere Mufaro. They're all involved in developing this Nigerian American Business Forum. I'm really proud of them. I'm a proud mom. There's a saying that whatever the Mufaro's touch turns to gold. Have you heard that? <laughs> it just attests to your parenting skills. Moses, we want to be like them when we grow up. When we grow up, we want to be like them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a good evening. Thank you. Welcome back. We're still at NABF, Nigerian American Business Forum com a Gala event. Earlier we had the conference. I have the keynote speaker here tonight, Mr. John Momo. He's the chairperson, chairman of Channels TV. I'm so excited. His speech was amazing. How do you feel tonight? I am excited. I am bubbling with a lot of life. Um, you know, speaking to the audience today, I saw the quantum of human capital in the room and what that represents for Nigeria. So coming to the gala tonight, I'm coming with a lot of joy and happiness and hope for our country, Nigeria. What role do you think the media can play in bridging the gap between the diasporans and the Nigerians back home? There's need for a connection, and we've been talking about that all evening uh, with NAB, uh, your television station. So channels, 
and your station would uh, be collaborating Amazing. in program and content production. And so with that, we'll be able to um, play up our strengths, mm -hmm. both from Nigeria and from the United States, and uh, come up with very good content that will satisfy the curiosity of our viewers both at home and in the United States. Thank you for that. After listening to all the speakers, do you think there's hope for Nigeria? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Nigeria is full of potentials. Uh, the possibilities are humongous. Uh, all we need to do is just scratch the, the surface and then we can see the gold that is embedded in you know, underneath. Um, I believe that the country is destined for greatness. I think this is crisis of development, uh, but I think as we work at it, uh, as we make our mistakes, mm -hmm. as we try to get to rock bottom, we will rise again and the country will be great for it. Awards were given to some notable people for their contribution to nation building. Malam Ibrahim Magu, Acting Chairman, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, was conferred with the Nigerian American Award as the Anti Corruption Crusader of the Year. Professor Mojisola Adeyeyi, Director General, National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, was conferred with the Food and Drug Administrator of the Year for the transformation she made at NAFDAC since her appointment. Mrs. Abike Dabiri Erewa, Senior Special Advisor to President Muhammadu Buhari on Foreign and Diaspora Affairs, was also conferred with the Most Diaspora Friendly Personality of the Year. Other award recipients were Mr. Jim Ovia, chairman of Zenith Bank PLC, who bagged the Banker Personality of the Year, while Dr. Andrew Nevin bagged the Financial Guru of the Year. This award is titled the NAA Media Entrepreneur of the Year 2019 and is presented to Mr. John Mock for his excellent and historic contributions to the evolution of journalism and media communications 
in Nigeria and worldwide. Mr. Jomomo, I want to see you. Thank you. Chairman of NABF, Dr. Afolabi Andu, said the award was instituted to recognize the contributions of Nigerians who are doing their best to change the narratives of the country. On the 27th, NABF members had a roundtable discussion on investment opportunities in Nigeria. The two-day annual conference, which started on Saturday the 26th and ended on Sunday the 27th, was put together by NABF's Local Organizing Committee members, LOC, headed by Dr. Gerald Muforo and Mrs. Emila Orubeli. The conference created an environment where members and conference attendees could network and socialize a fantastic and highly inspiring event. You know, meeting with um, professionals and entrepreneurs that uh, literally swarmed the entire uh, Grand West Shore Hotel. Uh, people fl flying in from different parts of America, from England, from Nigeria. A hive of activity uh, just basically you know, highlighted what can be possible when minds come together uh, to focus on something that is of mutual interest to them all. I have the president of the association who's going to give us a summation of how the conference went and the uh, plans for next year. The, the uh, highlight of the evening was the keynote speech delivered by Mr. John Momo, who is the chairman and CEO of Channels Media Group uh, and Channels TV in Nigeria and worldwide. Um, what, what a conference. We had a, we had a great time and everything just panned out the way we expected it to. We look forward to very, very active participation from a lot of our members to fund a lot of our initiatives that would ultimately result in youth empowerment and youth employment back home in Nigeria. What NABN TV is doing is invaluable in our development and growth. Our partnership has been yielding results and we expect it to continue to yield even bigger results in terms of driving membership. The little clips and videos that we get from, the, from NABN TV and the interviews such as this one and you know many more that NABN TV has been a part of over the past couple of years is what's brought us to this level of growth. And we, we intend to continue to um, patronize that relationship to, to develop um, our drive. One of the things that I would like to share with everybody for those aspiring to become members of the NABF is to visit our website. They can Google Nigerian American Business Forum on, 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 uh, or better yet, they can access that website nabizforum.com that's nabizforum.com you can go onto that website and follow the prompts to become a member nabn tv inspiring a new generation